Here we have the piece of the pulmonary parenchyma affected by the severe pulmonary edema. Almost all the alveoli are filled uh, with a slightly eosinophilic edematous fluid. This is the pleura on the outer surface of the lung and on the higher magnification we can see alveoli with the interalveolar septi. Inside of the interalveolar septi we can appreciate small capillaries with erythrocytes, endothelial cells and um, alveoli are lined by pneumocytes. Here we can see the uh, edematous fluid and inside of the alveoli we can also find the macrophages. Those are these cells. Here we have also some larger blood vessels also lined by endothelial cells with uh, erythrocytes inside of these blood vessels. Pulmonary edema leads to impaired gas exchange and it may cause respiratory failure. Uh, it is due to either failure of the left ventricle of the heart to remove blood adequately from the pulmonary circulation, so-called cardiogenic pulmonary edema, or it could be caused by an injury to the lung parenchyma or vasculature of the lung, so-called non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. Uh, decreased oncotic pressure uh, can also uh, cause pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema is clinically commonly diagnosed by an x-ray or CD scan and also by typical uh, clinical signs and symptoms. Okay, thanks for watching.